don't like the amount that I worry. It's exhausting and needless. And I wish I could make it stop, but I can't. Not fully, anyway. But over the last few years, I've learned to manage it. And I've found something that has completely changed the game for me. Something I'm genuinely so excited to share with you all today. Um, not just because I know that I'm not alone, or that I know that it, I know that it hasn't worked for that, it, that it's also worked for me, but because right now I know all of you are sat there with absolutely no idea what I'm about to say. <laughs> what I've found is that I can significantly reduce the amount that I worry in my day-to-day -day life, not just by watching comedy, but by actually doing it on the spot with no preparation whatsoever. That's what improvisational comedy is all about. Who'd like to come up here and try it? <laughs> no one? Relax, I'm, I'm not actually going to get anyone up today, but what I would like to do is talk to you about what improvisational comedy is and why I think it's one of the most practical ways to deal with our tendency to worry too much. Improvisational comedy is the art of spontaneously creating and reacting to other performers in the moment to produce comedy from scratch. In an improv class, your teacher might give you and your partner a location and a relationship to inspire a scene. Brothers shipwrecked on a desert island, and off you go. It's now up to the two of you to figure out what happens next. It might sound silly, but in an introductory improv class, you know, you will learn several key things that will have wider benefits for the rest of your life. And I'd like to share six with you today. First, you'll learn the importance of just having fun. In improv, it's not about getting it right. It's about giving yourself the opportunity to play, experiment, and see what happens when you put yourself on the spot in a safe space. The beauty of an introductory class is that there are no expectations. I remember one class I took where we'd start each week by going around to each other and literally saying the words, you don't have to be clever, funny, or interesting tonight, and you're allowed to make mistakes. When was the last time you heard those words from your boss? Probably never, right? But once that pressure is lifted and we no longer feel like we have to achieve a goal, we allow ourselves to react in a way that is much more instinctive, and we start to see what happens when we trust our intuitions. Second, you'll learn to listen like it's a superpower. We've all had that experience where we're talking to somebody who's listening just enough to be able to think up a response themselves. And it shows, right? Because what they say barely relates to what we were talking about at all. But in improv, we're creating new worlds. Worlds that rely on us accepting and building on each other's ideas to keep them alive in the minds of our audience. If I turn to my brother on a desert island and ask him, who he is and why he keeps trying to talk to me, I've broken the world for the audience. In improv, you'll practice listening far more actively than most of us do in the rest of our lives. Third, you'll learn to support the people around you rather than focusing on your own ideas. A key teaching of improv is to make the people that you're improvising with look good. Make them look like the smartest people in the room. And this has a dual benefit. Number one, it boosts the confidence of the people that you're improvising with, who will know that whatever happens, the people around them are watching, listening, and focusing on how to help them. And number two, it gets you out of your own head. It's far less daunting to help somebody else look good than it is to try to be interesting all on your own. And this actually frees you up to be a better improviser. Fourth, you'll learn to commit. If you mess up and say your character's name twice, improv teaches you that you've just found a new game. You can be the guy who has two first names for the rest of the show. Captain Jack-Jack of the Black Pearl. Isn't that right, Captain Jack-Jack? Yes, Captain Jack-Jack. Wait, which one of us is Captain Jack-Jack? There's brilliant comedic potential 
in our mistakes. And improv teaches you not just to realize this, but to act on it. Fifth, unless you're already an experienced public speaker or performer, it'll almost definitely put you out of your comfort zone. Because however much you plan or practice, you're going to be thrown into situations where you just have no idea what to say. And this can seem scary at first, but it's outside our comfort zones that we grow as people. And by getting more comfortable with not knowing, we get better at handling the unknown. And finally, an introductory improv class will teach you to stay connected to the people that you're improvising with. Done well, improv should feel like reacting, and if you're connected to what your partner is doing and focused on their every word and gesture, with some practice, you'll be amazed at how quickly and instinctively you work out how to respond. As one improv teacher I once had told me, you will know what you need to know when you need to know what you need to know. You will know what you need to know when you need to know what you need to know. And once you get comfortable improvising, you'll realize just how true this is, so long as you stay connected. So how can improvisational comedy help you with the rest of your life? I'll let you into a secret. You already improvise every single day. You don't always get to choose what happens to you, but you do have some choice over how you respond. And by learning to get comfortable improvising in a class or on a stage, that confidence will start to trickle through into the rest of your life. But the benefits of this can't be realized by simply sitting and watching me on a stage talking about it. You have to try it yourself. So if you feel like you worry too much and it's not serving you like I did, take an improv class. There are thousands of improv schools and theatres across the world. And by the way, I don't work for any of them. I'm just a passionate improviser stood in front of a room of potential improvisers sharing what I've discovered. Give yourself permission to get up and close with that feeling of having no idea what's about to come next. It might just change your life. Thank you. <laughs>